Happy birthday as well. You always find a lady's courtyard. An solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Gradio. This is the R922. It's an AM, FM, weather band, portable radio with MP3 player and Bluetooth, all in a retro form factor. Pretty cool. I got this radio off Amazon quite a while back, I think around 20 bucks. I was going to review it then, but then all of a sudden it uh, wasn't available for quite a long time. Then recently I saw it pop up again, so hopefully the links below uh, lead you to this radio because it is one heck of a little radio. I didn't think it was going to perform as good as it did, so let's check this out. Vintage AM FM radio, best gift. Ooh, ooh. Comes in this little gift box type style, nothing else written on there. There's like a little sticker there. There you go. And yeah, it's a really neat retro styled radio. I thought it was neat. Let's go check this out. Box comes open. You're greeted with the radio and some foam wrap. We'll take that out. See what other goodies we get. All right, we get a cable there and some paperwork, it looks like. Let's knock that out. So empty box. Let's look at the paperwork. Of course, always fun. 15% off. Enjoy. Thank you for your purchase. All right, write a review, I guess. Radio, radio. I think that's right. Great radio, radio. <laughs> so I'm thinking. All right. Um, this is the BL5C. It runs on a BL5C, and a lot of guys aren't excited about this battery. But there's so many radios with them. I think they're gonna be making these for quite a while. So wouldn't worry about it. It's great technology. A uh, user manual. Uh, here you go. FM, AM, weather band, MP3, radio speaker. R922. Just open this up real quick. Um, you can see all the things it can do. I was really shocked that it had Bluetooth uh, in its price range and how well the bands are. You'll be surprised. This thing will actually DX on the evening bands and the daytime bands. It's just absolutely amazing. There you go. Hopefully you can read all that and get my thumb out of the way. There you go. So there's the manual on that page. And we'll quickly go through this page showing you all the different features. I'll try to cover it, but if I miss something, there you go. There's specifications, FM, AM, weather band. You got your 175 gram weight, nice. Show speaker, Bluetooth, lithium ion battery, which it comes with, like I showed you, it comes with a free battery. You know, the nice thing about that is you don't have to go out and buy batteries. So you can enjoy the radio right away. Uh, here's talking about how to use the Bluetooth in different modes. Uh, it has auxiliary player, which we're gonna use today. An earphone jack, nice. And some instructions if you're having problems and a warranty. 12 months. Okay. Let's uh, look at that cable. This cable they give you is a proprietary cable. It's a micro USB cable to charge the radio, but it's also auxiliary cable. So you have to plug this end and this end into your radio. And this acts, I think they use the data pins, since they don't use it for the charging part, to pass the audio through. So there you go. Pretty simple setup. And we'll try to use this um, a little later. You know what? I'm actually undo this. This is quite a long cable. Um, and I think this will be neat to show with my mp3 player playing YouTube royalty free music on the radio itself With this cable. So there you go. Nice and long. Yeah, not your average length. So not bad So if you want a little distance to your player, you can do it. All right, that are your charger. So let's get to the radio Foam wrap now this thing is a fingerprint magnet. <laughs> so if you see me clothing it a lot It's because I don't like fingerprints, but what are you gonna do? Uh, we'll zoom in here it's and do some dimensions. Yeah, this thing's awesome. I love the style right away. Um, and the dial does light up. <laughs> I know a lot of guys are wondering. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about dimensions. We are four and three quarter inches in length. We are two and five eighths of an inch in uh, width here. And depth of the radio, including the tuning knob to the back antenna is one and three quarter inches. Nice. Let's do some size comparisons. That's always fun. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring this back up a little bit. Get the full frame. I always have CC Pocket on hand. Yep. So it's 10:24 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois. Just as information um, for you guys, because I'm gonna do some AM band scan with this. To get an idea. I was picking up WCBS last night with it. I was pretty amazed. That's in New York, about 750 miles away. Yeah. For this little radio, I love it. 
just it's it's a great thing a great fun retro and the sound that comes out of here yeah you guys are gonna like it this thing booms all right so it's a little wide as you can see not as portable as say a cc skywave or anything but it gives you a general idea and of course we have iron man he's the man with a master plan he loves retro radios from channel land he's iron man he loves radios man radio <laughs> it says radio on the front i love it um so there you go deck of cards for size all right so let's talk about features and then we'll of course demo the radio so right away left hand side we have a carry strap we have high gloss black plastic that goes all the way around as you can see here um yeah so they used a lot of high gloss materials but hey it's retro themed it's cool <laughs> uh we have this uh chrome uh, bezel and behind there is a speaker grill that goes all the way across. I think that's kind of neat and it's metal I checked it out. That actually is metal mesh um, Where the speakers behind there I thought that was pretty neat. We have this really cool color changing radio logo Can you guys see that? It looks like it's going from blue to teal to yellow or something nice our dial this is a really cool rotary dial It lights up different modes different colors. So uh, it has a blue or amber light depending on what mode you're on but As you can see it's an FM band in the center uh, AM band in the middle and weather band on the outside and as you can see the FM is 87 to 108 the medium wave band is 520 to 1710 and we have all five channels on the or excuse me seven channels represented on the weather band yeah awesome uh, so top of the radio uh, we have some buttons these are for your media player we have back and forward tracks and we have pause play we have a mode select so you can select uh, to your Bluetooth mode or auxiliary in USB uh, for USB playback uh, Here we have a headphone jack now headphone experience I like to talk about the headphone jack um, <clears throat> It's Interesting uh, the big thing is it's no FM stereo or stereo from the mp3 player Which I was kind of bummed out but on an inexpensive radio like this and with its vintage charm I wasn't too upset, but if you have to use headphones, it actually sounds really good. There's no low-level hiss uh, it has strong lows and mids on FM and the MP3 player. I thought it was very good sounding. Uh, it has a very flat neutral tone on AM, which I think is great for talk and sports. So it's uh, geared for that. That's amazing. Uh, but just remember, there's no FM stereo, unfortunately, um, or stereo playback. It's kind of a bummer. Or on Bluetooth. There was no stereo playback on Bluetooth. So i eh, got to tell you about it. But that is not a bad headphone jack experience. Uh, On-off control, volume. Nice. Right hand side of the radio, we have a uh, charging input, our micro USB uh, input of 5 volts. We have FM, AM, weatherman, Bluetooth mode select switch. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to start. Probably on Bluetooth because we're going to demo the um, MP3 player on here, which will be nice. Bottom of the radio, you'll notice this TF. There's an SD card slot micro. And I believe it takes up to 32 gigabytes. Though I'd recommend like a 16 or less. It's just easier to manage since it's a simple player. There you go on uh, again you saw the top of the radio uh the back of the radio we have a really nice antenna uh this antenna extends out to 18 and a half inches and swivels 360 degrees which is amazing i love this antenna uh, excellent for fm reception and no weather band reception we have a sticker here showing all the bands and some information about the radio the weight here is 167 and the stated one in the manual is 175 so i'm guessing that's without the battery and then in here let me see if i get the is the BL5C. Let's pop this open and show you that. There it is, the BL5C battery. And I don't know how easy that is to get out of there. Not too bad. And let's see what it is here. Rated at 1,000. That's typical. And they should be. Um, all BL5Cs are typically 1,000 milliamp hour. Anything higher rated, I think they're just pulling your leg because I think they're all about that 1,000 mark. That's what I've noticed in run times on my radios. So let's get that back in place. This looks like a vented part, but it's not. It just looks like it. I think it's more of a grip. And as you can see, fingerprint magnet. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the front speaker. It sounds amazing. Um, behind, it's right about here. And the manual states it's 40 millimeters or um, it's about an inch and a half. Uh, you wouldn't think much about an inch and a half speaker, but when you hear this thing, it's 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 booming. It reminds me of the Tiv Dio uh, or Retecus V115 speaker. Uh, where they have that nice deep bass to it. That's what that reminds me of. You guys are going to like this. So uh, let's talk about FM reception, and we'll turn this on. So I always like to do an FM reception report. And what that entails um, is I go through, I tune this radio upstairs at 2 o'clock in the afternoon usually with the antenna, trying to find every station I can on the FM band for my location. 
on every radio I review. And I do it in five tiers. I got fair, which is one star. And we got okay, good, very good, excellent, and excellent being five stars. Now, as far as excellent ratings, I probably have like three or four radios that hit excellence. So you're not really going to see that too often. On average, they fall between okay and good or good to very good. Uh, like an old radio such as, I, have, I always have this radio handy. Uh, gee, uh, this is an old one from the 80s. Um, this is an analog radio. Uh, this gets about uh, 48 stations, FM stations, and it rates about okay to good. Now this one here is a digital radio, di digital uh, signal processor or DSP. Uh, a lot of guys like it, a lot of them don't, but it works really well with this radio uh, and for its price range. Let me bring that on down even closer for you guys. You guys can almost see me in that chrome, yeah. Almost, you can see the camera, you can see my radios around me. <laughs> nice, love these little things. Um, this got a good score. This was uh, 57 stations found instead of 48, so it puts it really close to good, so I gave it a good rating. So it's close to 60, because I was getting some faint stations with it. Pretty surprised. Sensitivity is really good. Uh, selectivity is a little tough, so I gave it an okay to good rating, about two and a half stars, right in the average range. It liked to latch on those stronger stations, so you'd miss a few of the faint ones. But I still was able to pick up faint stations as long as there was no nearby stronger station. You could get that sensitivity out of it. So uh, I'd say about a three or two and three quarter star rating. There you go. Close to three stars. So not bad. So let's go ahead and demo this thing. Yeah, so let's turn it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this little MP3 player here. Sony. Yep, a little plug for the Sony, this out of date thing. It's old four gigabyte model. Um, I use it for demoing mainly. It's easy. So we're going to take and plug the patch cable supplied with the radio there we go and then we're going to plug the other end let's see how we got this here the micro usb quite the long cable here like i was mentioning i should measure that but uh, it's probably over two feet for sure probably three foot cable so we'll plug that in doing this on camera okay and we turn this on let's get this all in frame and we'll do some demoing of this thing yeah in action i kind of wanted to show the mp3 player so you guys can see what songs are playing all right so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. There we go. So it lights up blue, which is awesome. Now that tone was the Bluetooth tone. So if you're on that and you're like, hey, I want to play my player. So we're going to hit play. That's running. You have to hold down the mode key until it plays. The UX mode. There you go. Well, we're going to demo the music for a few minutes. Hopefully the audio comes through really nice. It's a beautiful sounding radio.
go. You got a demo. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you had you get to see what music I was playing with my Sony MP3 player. Nice. Loving that. Cool little setup. Go ahead and pause that. Um, so I wanted to show you. Yeah, it also runs on a USB, which I'll show you. I like this radio for its retro look. So why not play some retro old time radio? So yeah, um, let's turn this off. We'll plug in the USB. Uh, it's just easier to manage. <clears throat> I like these little short SanDisk uh, thumb drives. They don't stick up too far. Uh, it's fantastic. It's a 16 gig one, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw that on camera. I tried to bring that in focus. I don't know if that'll focus. Let's see. Yeah, 16 gigs. This is SanDisk. It's just a really nice, I just like these. Very nice. I use them in all my radio demos and, and use. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. It should go to USB mode. USB mode. There we go. Oop, paused it. Open. Something oh, terrible. Come and kill the house. Daddy! Oh, please open this door. Oh, Dick, can't we break it down? He's in there. Listen to him. So yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Um, you got fast forward rewind too. Thought I'd mention that to you. Why don't the police get here? You did call them, Matilda. Now, Roma Wines present a thing of beauty, starring June Dupre. Suspense is presented for your enjoyment by Roma Wines. That's R O M A, Roma Wine. One of your guests. Every right lessons. Black, Fresno, California. Tonight, in the absence of Ida Lupino, who was prevented from being with us because of illness, we are fortunate in being able to bring to you as star the actress whose performance in the RKO production, None But the Lonely Heart, has recently won her an award for one of the ten best of the year, Miss June Dupre. Miss Dupre appears tonight. There you go. Pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and just turn that back off. But yeah, there's the player. It's, again, pretty simple. But it does have the fast-forward functions, which I think is nice, and rewind, which is good. So for a simple program, not bad. And your pause play and your mode control. Yeah, and then having Bluetooth, it's amazing. It's a Bluetooth speaker as well. Um, so let's get to the radio, the fun part. So we're going to go ahead and extend this antenna, and we'll do the weather band. I picked up five stations during the day. I don't know what we'll pick up in the evening. Uh, probably going to hit some radios with this. Yeah, I'm going to hit some radios. You're going to hear some banging around. <laughs> I have a lot of radios in the house. So, okay, let's go ahead and switch us to the weather band. Trying not to smack anything. So weather band is down one. Okay, we'll turn it on. We're on channel one. West at five miles an hour. The pressure was 29.91 inches in rising. It's an OSHA. It was clear. And it was 49 tonight. At 10 p.m. the old airport was clear. The temperature was 51 degrees. Weather outlook for portions of east central Wisconsin, south central Wisconsin, and southeast Wisconsin. For tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. It was 47 degrees. The dew point was 33. And the relative humidity was 58 percent. The wind was south at 7 to 15 miles per hour. Wow, we're getting a lot of Wednesday stations. night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-30s to lower 40s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Thursday and Thursday night, partly cloudy. Hi. Okay, I'm going to go up to... Uh, channel 6 has this weird, like, feedback. I think it's because the Channel 5 is too close to it, so I'm going to go right to 7. Gary, Indiana reported 52, and Benton Harbor reported 46. Once again, at O'Hare Airport, it was 51, under clear skies. At Milwaukee's Harbor Entry in the upper... Oh. Saturday night... That's that speaker. I'll try to mute that. <laughs> lows in the upper 30s. Highs in the upper 50s inland, but only in the mid-50s near the lake. And now the marine portion of the forecast for... Okay, so you get the idea. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do an FM band scan. I don't usually do them because of music copyrights, but... We're going to do them anyway. Let's do it. So let's do a little FM band scan just downstairs here. It's not going to be as good as what I found upstairs, but you'll get a general idea of what it sounds like and what I'm finding just by sitting here by my desk in this subfloor basement. Turn this back up. On FM.
intuitive uh, when playing the piano. Every word and every letter with I will not be let in. In spite of this. You will On Friday, though. And if you're 50 or 60, you need a doctor. They're here on your turn. Okay, cool. It's up in band scan. Let's get to the AM band real quick. See what we can hear there tonight, and then we'll call it a day. This thing is just absolutely amazing. Uh, if you want a fun retro radio, I'm even getting to final thoughts. Get one. This thing is just, it's just fine. It. I was expecting a bunch of buzzing sound on the uh, AM band, but nope. To my surprise, it was picking up a lot of things. Oop, there we go, AM band. And of course, you got that really cool dial. It's always lit up. Uh, that's really neat. Here, we can probably turn the lights off while I do a band scan. A little bit of one. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. Okay, let's see what we're here tonight. CHLO, Brampton, Ontario. About 400 miles. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like 630 uh, Chatham, Ontario. Uh, CFCO. If I get some of these wrong, I'll... I'll put a little pop up here. <laughs> I'm just, I can't read my list in the dark. But another Canadian station, nice. 300 miles, I think. Now that's coming in great. That's WSM on 650. This is Nashville, Tennessee, uh, about 434 miles. All this said golf has the worst video replay system. WSCR, Chicago? When I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn the lights back on. <laughs> Fumbling here. All right. But yeah, that's 670 to score, Chicago, Illinois. Nice. I must tell you this. This weekend, don't change the channel. Because the PGA Tour returns to... Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation makes a... Here's WLW on 700. This is 300 miles away. Um, WLW, I got my list back, <laughs> is Cincinnati, Ohio. Five, helping to stop the stigma and start the conversation. Wake up with the info you need from the man you love. Mike McConnell, tomorrow morning at 5 on 700 WLW. Matt Whistler, right-hander, 20... Right home about, but you, 
You get a certificate at 720 WGN Chicago. Postage, you know, it might be a CV, CD or a DVD or a comic or a tabloid. You know. That beautiful music is CFZM, Zoomer Radio, 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. 460 miles. So, yeah. Do you hear any noise? No. This thing's fantastic. I thought for sure I'd hear some buzzing or something, but this thing is great. (laughs) Loving it. Intensity and your sense of confidence rely. Of course, it's latching on stronger stations. Um, I skip 750. This is 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Many people who use Neo pronouns don't just use one set. Loungewear and more. We've been sleeping on Brooklyn sheets for years and couldn't be happier, especially. Here's 780 WBBM, Chicago. On Brooklyn and no more. Go to brooklinen.com and use the promo code SCORE to get $25 off when you spend $100. <laughs> Because it seems like things are quieting down a little bit. Uh, police have blocked off a lot of... So we're going to see where we're at here. Uh, the Skywave. Uh, see if this is 830. It sounds like CFCO. Uh, not CFCO. Uh, WCCO. In this case, and it looks like there are Frequency arrests being made. Deal. Also, I mentioned um, that police arm, the um, Minnesota Operation Safety Net. They yeah, this is nice. Reported. Sounds great. Have been broken into at several locations in Minneapolis. So that's May Day is Red Day. I didn't know what that meant until I grew up. So it's a communist. So this is um, the WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky, on 840, coast to coast in the evenings. April the 21st. This is our ground zero right now. There's been a lot of deaths with that date. Right. That's why I'm saying April the 23rd. I'm saying. April the, between April the 18th and April the 23rd. So this is uh, 860 uh, CJBC, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. I'm guessing because uh, 850s might be coming in weaker. Yeah. So that's KOA Denver barely coming in on the Skywave. So that's why it latched on 860. Out and traffic is at a standstill. Driving right back past Woodhaven Boulevard, so do avoid that spot. In Queens tonight, also flooding on the northbound BQB by Patman Plaza in the right lane to use some extra caution. The Hutchinson River drawbridge was open for a bit. It's back down now. So So here's 880 WCBS, New York, New York, 750 miles. Just love it. Absolutely amazing. For construction, everyone using We're going to zip to the top of the dial. A bit busy. The Lincoln Tunnel, it's the center tube. Insane, these are... We used to have everyday lineups. You know, seven zero. I, I I made that decision to. It's a decision you have to make. I can't make it for you. Defense lawyer Eric. Oh, one small step. You just watch the game. You have the sound. Oh, great! You have the sound of the crowd. It was kind of a bad. Maybe. It was actually EPI. Back. Five seconds remaining as quickly we'll dribble it out. The Knicks win their third straight in four nights here at home. They defeat the should be 1530 WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Over 500, and if you... Everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old... To the top of the band. I mean... When you listen to the announcer... Okay, there was 1700 KBGG Des Moines, Iowa, 200 miles, I think it's 280 miles, 1000 watts, that's pretty nice. Um, so there it is, the radio or radio, I like how it says radio there, it's pretty interesting. Mile number, I don't know, R922, who's going to remember that, but uh, yeah, AM, FM, weather band, Bluetooth, MP3 player, auxiliary in player, uh, this thing is great, rechargeable, comes with a battery, um, 
for the price, if it's still around 20 bucks, hit the link uh, down there. I supply it in the video description. And pick yourself up one. You're really going to like this radio. It's a, it's a refreshing, fun radio. Um, yeah, I love these lighted dials. I think they're absolutely amazing. I'm getting excited there. Was I, drool? was I drooling on the radio? <laughs> I guess I was. I love it. All right. So, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you like these type of radios, you want to see more of the retro style, uh, hit subscribe at the bell icon. I'll look out for more of these. There's a lot of them out there. And uh, this one performs. Absolutely amazing. And, of course, uh, make sure you hit that bell icon. So if the stuff goes on sale, I like to post deals for you guys. And uh, those who have the bell icon checked get notified of those deals right away. And then three, comment below what you think about this particular radio. Do you like it? Um, I really can't fault it. I mean, it stands up on its own because it's nice and wide. Um, nice antenna length. And you can use it and adjust that antenna and it won't knock the radio over. Um, I like the idea of Bluetooth. I like the idea of the auxiliary in because I have a lot of radios I like to listen to with this speaker versus, say, this speaker, you know, so yeah, this sounds fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.